Hello there, time for another one of my video reviews. Today I'm going to be looking at a book called Ravina, The Witch, um, which is this absolutely gorgeous hardcover by an author called Junko Maizuno, who are, which I hope I'm pronouncing correctly. Um, and it is an absolutely amazing story. Um, it's You might be fooled looking at this to think that it's some form of, of, of kids book, or at least suitable for, for younger children. Um, it's not. <laughs> it's um, it's got some adult aspects to it. It's got a it's got a bit of kink in it, um, and uh, for all its uh, sort of like fairy tale and fable esque trappings and elements, it's it's got um, it's got adult content and situations. A uh, little bit of nudity in its its own wonderful style. Um, but uh, but for all that, it's 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 a it's a story in some ways about being true to yourself, no matter what, and the consequences of being true to yourself and just being, um, just generally being a, a, a genuine to 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 what you believe and uh, on what you think is right, and just accepting things, no matter what. Um, and just living your life how you choose because no one should dictate anything to you um and uh it's about defying convention and just generally not being afraid to 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 be the things that you want to be um and all the magic and um and situations that may result from that and they're not always going to be entirely um beneficial or, or, or maybe even pleasant but they're going to be worthwhile and they're going to create an adventure and a life worth living um and uh yeah it's it's, it's about who you are and sometimes how that will be perceived to be and it's all done in this wonderful sort of like chibi gothic sort of art day of the dead mexican um artistic stylings um and so like little elements of japanese it's a style all of its own it's got so many sort of like elements and and various bits that come into the fore and it's got a, a, an absolutely huge cast of characters and so like little supporting things like all the great fairy tales you've got characters that drop in and out cats and crows and men that dress as women and guys who are like a bit of spanking and what have you and witches and magic and imprisoned women and kings and villages and it, it's all those elements of fairy tale and fable but done in a completely fresh way i mean and the styling is sort of like all in the, that that muted but varied color palette um and it's just it's just a gorgeously told story um and there's 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 nothing of it's it's very wholesome it's very um despite all its trappings and whatever and it's 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 told in a modern world but it's it is modern around the edges there's there's little elements that just sort of like tell you you're not in the past this is this is something that that could be considered contemporary um and it's it's wonderful it's not a kids book but it speaks to those stories that you were told as child as a child maybe uh, of of witches and girls that go out into the world and make their way and um and the consequences that come of that so it's, it's got that that element of sort of like traditional storytelling um but it's done freshly and it's it's done in such a way that that puts a lens on one side like all good art does um and uh and in some ways i mean uh, the stuff about being true to yourself and uh accepting people other what uh, how they are and um and going forth this is stuff that i've i've taken from it but it, it, it's its main message is, is is there's a multitude of messages that you can take from this book if you choose to um and aside from anything from that it's just a gorgeous story um i'll just read you the opening now just to give you a flavor of what it is because it's done as a book it's all text story it's not a comic um so it's it, it's very much a story um and this is how it begins somewhere on the coastline of a tiny country in Europe, there was an enormous garbage dump. It kept growing and growing thanks to the many garbage trucks that visited it every day. In this dump, there lived 
a thousand crows, and one human girl. Her name was Ravina. Ravina was not sure how she came to live in the dump. It seemed as though she had always been there, raised by the crows. You might think living in a garbage dump would be miserable, but it's really not so bad at all. Ravina always had enough to eat. There was lots of food like bread, vegetables, meat, and even a few delicacies no one would expect to find in such a place. In the dump, Ravina could also find things like picture books, dolls, and even the latest toys that had lost their popularity. Ravina didn't care about the smell at all, for it was the only smell that she had ever known. She enjoyed her life in the garbage dump, and she knew of no other humans, only her family of kindly crows. And yes, it's got that wonderful fable quality, and it's a beautiful book. I mean, I got my copy from my local comic book store, uh, Dark Side Comics. I'm sure you get it at uh, your local bookstore or comic book store. Um, but it's well worth seeking out for the art, for the storytelling, for the messages, for the diversity, for its sheer beauty and just lovability. And as it says, it's Ravina the Witch. It's a question. It's about perception. It's about exploring what it means to be yourself in many ways but seek it out love it enjoy it like i have and thank you very much for stopping by and watching another one of my videos hope to see you again soon